Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com and welcome to today's Saturday with Stacy YouTube class number 509. If you are joining us during the premiere of this class, which would be Saturday mornings, 8 a.m. Sunday California time, 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. Eastern, or 4 p.m. in the United Kingdom. Well, then we are live chatting right now and certainly hope that you join in in all the fun. All you have to do is type your name, where you're from, just that you're here and you're excited and you're ready to have a great time and you will find that many of us will say hello, hello and welcome right back to you. Oh, my nose itches. Okay. Well, you will also find that we don't edit our videos, and so what you see is what you get. I'm Stacy. I'm the owner of Scrapbooking Made Simple, and I am just thrilled that you are here spending this time with me. Today, oh my gosh, today is so good. It is. I have got creative expressions for you. They're paper cuts line from Creative Expressions. I have got a worldwide launch from Sizzix. Hello, hello. I have got a product that I haven't been able to get my hands on in what feels like years. <laughs> I don't know if it actually is years. It very well could be years since the last time we had this, but I got them now. And let me tell you, when that email came through at like three o'clock in the morning, by 310, I had ordered all of them all of them took everything the manufacturer had because i did not want to wait years again to get them back in stock so before we get started with all of that i have got winner winner chicken dinner to tell you about there are two people oh there are two people who have just who are going to receive a $25 gift card from Scrapbooking Made Simple. The check marks are on there. That means the money's in their online account. And they might find that they want some of the goodies that they're going to see here today to spend their free money on. Who doesn't like free, right? So before we get into everything, I'm gonna tell you our winner winner chicken dinners. And for your chance to be a winner winner chicken dinner, please know you have to leave a comment below. If you are joining us during the live chat, the live chat comments don't count. You have to post a comment below and you may not see it right away because we do approve those comments and weed out all the spam. <laughs> I'm sure that you don't want to buy whatever it is they're selling from wherever it is they want you to buy it from. We get we get so much spam like that. So we weed all of that out, approve your comments, and then you have the chance to win $25 here at Scrapbooking Made Simple. We do two giveaways every Saturday, so you just never know when it's going to be your turn. Our first winner winner, let me put my glasses on, our first winner winner is Andrea. Andrea Somerville. Hello, Andrea Somerville. That is you. Congratulations, Wahoo Kachu. I am so excited for you. Wahoo. <laughs> Our second winner winner is Joellen. Joellen Wyatt. Hello, Joellen. How are you doing? I bet you're on live chat. And if you're not on live chat, you're going to get on live chat. And when you get on live chat, everybody's going to be going, ah! Congratulations! So for Andrea, and Andrea might be on live chat too, for Andrea and Joelle, and congratulations ladies. I hope you enjoy whatever goodies you pick up with that money and that you make something fun and creative and, and share it with whomever means the world to you. Make something pretty and then give it away. <laughs> So we have to do the winner winner chicken dinner dance for both of these ladies. Are you ready? You're a winner chicken dinner. You're a winner chicken dinner. Wahoo! Kachu for you. I'm just so excited for the both of you. And if you want that chance to hear your name and get a $25 gift card, well, if you don't post, you're not going to win. This I can promise you. I can guarantee you if you don't leave a comment below, you'll never have the chance of winning. <laughs> okay, so what have we got for you today? Well, a lot, let me tell you. I have got Creative Expressions Paper Cuts, their Paper Cuts line, and it is Christmas. So I saw these quite some time ago and placed my order, and Creative Expressions then released them to, just last week, released them to their 
retailers globally. So I have our order, and then they released them to retailers globally. They sold out like this. They sold out like this. It was crazy. So I'm glad I have my order, but I think that I'm not gonna be able to add to my order at any time. Christmas stuff tends to be a one and done because by the time the manufacturer can get an order in again, well, it's October, November. It's already done and over with. So I am thrilled that I was able to get these in and, and bring them to you. I'm also thrilled that Creative Expressions took my idea, my suggestion, my thought process. When they showed me these dyes, these type of dyes, the first go round because they've released something similar to this a little bit earlier this year I asked a very specific question and I think they thought I was just off my rocker would not be the first time that a manufacturer has thought the girl has lost it but I asked my question and I got the wheels started I mean they started to turn you could see it and I kept talking to them about it and talking to them about it and then lo and behold they did it so I'd like to thank them for listening to suggestions. And while maybe not all of them will work, this one definitely enhanced the product by a lot, without question. And on that note, I need to say thank you to Sizzix because I have a worldwide launch for them today on product that I kept poke, poke, poking. That's what I do. Hi, I'm Stacy. I poke, poke, poke manufacturers, but with a smile on my face, I always do it nicely. <laughs> and sometimes I have to poke harder <laughs> than others. <laughs> but eventually, most manufacturers will, I don't wanna say cave, <laughs> <laughs> but they'll finally get on board with my ideas and and will do their best to make them happen. And that is what's happened with, with Sizzix. I have a worldwide launch on Luster Wax today. I have three new colors, but wait, there's more. There's four colors to follow in the next few weeks that gives you the most beautiful rainbow you have ever seen. And I was lucky enough to help pick these colors. Poke, 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 thank you. <laughs> Between Creative Expressions and Sizzix, it was like, oh. <laughs> all my, all my, could you, would you please? I promise it'll, I, I just know it'll be great. Just would you, could you? So I have three new colors of luster wax for you today. And because we are using Christmas dyes, the first three colors I'm releasing are a yellow, not a gold. They already have gold luster wax and I'm gonna show you the difference. A yellow, a red, and a green. Oh, so wound. So, but, but with luster wax, I'm gonna tell you, everything in life is, is well, not everything, but lots of things in life are a trade-off or a compromise. To get this, you might have to, you might have to sacrifice a little bit over here. You know, you gotta balance everything. So these luster waxes will just make your heart happy but there's a little bit of a balance to get those colors the way they are. I'm gonna to talk to you about that because wow, when you see them on the paper, holy smokes artichokes, but are they exactly like the original luster waxes? No, but do we only want gold and silver and rose gold, <coughs> copper luster waxes? No, so are we willing to do a little bit of this to get what we want? Oh yeah, I do it all the time. Negotiating 101. <laughs> you gotta give a little to get a little. What's that song? We gotta get... Oh, that was from Beaches. You gotta give a little... Oh, I'm gonna get in trouble. Take a little... Okay, so I'm not gonna sing that because I don't wanna get in trouble with YouTube. So big thanks to Creative Expressions and, and Sizzix for the products today. And then, and then it just, it just rounded itself out. I got this email at three o'clock at night. I don't sleep. Don't know why I just don't and haven't forever. So I'm up like every hour on the hour and I know I'm not supposed to look at my phone. I know that, but I do anyway. 
Hi, I'm Stacy. I look at my phone every hour on the hour I do. And I know they say that you turn that light on and then the light tells you that it's daytime. Doesn't matter. Some of the best things happen at three o'clock in the morning, like what happened the other week. I got this email from an international manufacturer who, who posted a picture of product that I haven't been able to get for years. At least it feels like years. Am I being dramatic? Maybe just a little bit, but maybe not. You might own this product and go back and look and say, oh, it really was two years ago when she had it. So I get this email at three o'clock in the morning from an international manufacturer. I am in bed and I, I'm trying to hide my, I try to hide my phone under the covers so Mr. SMS doesn't go, put that thing down. <laughs> go to bed. <laughs> And I'm logging into my account to see how many they have available. And, and I bought them all by 310 in the morning. The deal was done. <laughs> there was no negotiating. There was no calling me say, calling saying, could you, would you? It was like, I'm buying them and I'm buying them now. So I have got, I've got those little tiny mini blending from from Nellie's that we have not had in ages. I think originally they were from Crafts too, but I'm glad that they are back. Now I'm gonna tilt on down. We're gonna get started for today. I'm gonna tease you just a little bit on starting the 10th, which is Monday. I will start sneak peeking Tim Holtz Halloween. I cannot show you anything until the 18th. I can't sell you anything until the 18th. But on Tuesday morning, 9 a.m. sunny California time, that'd be 11 a.m. Central, 12 noon Eastern, and 5 p.m. in the United Kingdom, I will be doing a, a YouTube and a live chat featuring the latest and greatest from Tim Holtz and a Halloween. But leading up to that every day, <laughs> I've got a cute little, a cute little something. I can't show you the exact images but I can certainly give you a pretty close hint on what it's gonna be. So join me, it, it will be on. It will, we'll do it as a YouTube video, a little shorts every day, I think, or a Instagram, on Instagram, on Facebook, and we are now on threads. So find us, you can find us just about anywhere. So just a little, a little, little, little sneak peek that we are going to have all about Tim. And then on the 18th, the morning of the 18th, when I am allowed to launch everything, I will show you everything I have. I've got the most amazing finished samples for you. And then the product will all go live and wait till you see what I have, the value bundle that I have for you. If you've got $5.99 and you love Tim Holtz, well, you're going to want to pay attention to that day. Holy smokes. All right. Very excited. Really excited. It's been a great week. Have you guys had a great week? We've had a great week here at SMS. So much beautiful product has come in. The samples that the girls are making are amazing. And um, the sun is shining and, and everybody's healthy. So what more could you ask for, right? Well, I guess I could ask that we make something pretty. So I'm gonna tilt on down. I'm gonna get started for today. I've got some samples. I'm gonna show you some quick samples in the beginning. We're gonna start out super easy. And I'm only going to use, I'm only going to use certain products. I'm gonna use the Creative Expressions dies, the Paper Cuts dies. I'm going to use the new Luster Wax from Sizzix and that and some opulent paper. I am not going to use any other product but this. Everything that I'm going to do will be done with these. I mean, I could easily go over to my tubs and grab tons of different inks and tons of different blending brushes and all sorts of stuff. Today, today we are going to keep it focused down so you can see that even if you are the newest of crafters, you can do this. You don't have to have tubs of stuff. Eventually you will be having tubs of stuff, but I wanted to keep it bare bones and really show you that even with just a few great things that you own, just a few really key purchases, you can get it all done, no problem. All right, I'm gonna tilt on down. We're gonna get started for today. It's good to see everybody. 
Oh, is that gonna do? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There we go. Holy smokes, artichokes, that was close. <laughs> my ring light was like moving. Okay, am I good? Okay, I think that's pretty good. I feel like I'm kind of to one side. Maybe there. Okay, so let me show you some quick samples. Look at how beautiful is that. So this is the Creative Expressions paper cut. And there are different elements of these where the actual cut, the, the die will pop up and it's just, they're so cute. The little hat comes forward. The little tail comes forward. I think this tail comes forward too. Yep, this little tail comes forward. And then you've got the little cuts in the wings. Really darling. So there's one sample. Here is another. And again, these are cuts. They're, the, the dies have little liftable elements to them, which make them a little 3D, a little bit more dynamic. And we've expanded, our honorary SMS girls have expanded. Um, <laughs> it's always been... Uh, Patty and and Katie, but lately we have had Yvette and Mary come and join us on Wednesdays and they have been making beautiful samples as well. So we've got a few more honorary SMS girls. And then the last one, look at how pretty. And see, so you can see all the little lifts. Right? Just beautiful. So this is where we're going to start today is with those paper cut dies. And let me pull one out. I'm cleaning my glasses. Should have done that ahead of time. Let me pull one out. Here it is. I'm going to pull it apart. So you've got a die. And then this one comes with two accents. I think this is the only one that comes with two with accents. Two accents. The others are more full-size card dies. But this one is a little bit smaller. So to go with this, and what my suggestion was, is the stencil to match so that you are able to color the lifty parts so much easier, so much easier. So I'm gonna start with this one and I'm just gonna cut. So all I'm gonna do is cut a piece of white paper so I can show you the lifty parts. Let's see if I can get it out. There we go. <laughs> okay, there we go. So pop it on off. And I'm gonna tell you that the die, the die doesn't have a cut line around the outside edge. So when I do this and I die cut, it's not going to pull the entire piece out. It's going to cut this design into my paper. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I've got a piece of white paper, just basic white cardstock. I'm going to bring over my Sizzix Big Shot machine. I am going to use a precision base plate today. This is a little bit more of an intricate die, and because it's got those elements that pop up, I wanna make sure that they cut out beautifully. So I am gonna be using a precision base plate by Sizzix, and this goes through your Vagabond, it goes through your Big Shot, it goes through your Big Kick, it goes through your, if you have an older Fabby Sizzix Big Shot, if you've got a Vintage, I mean a really old one. So this is going to allow you to do intricate dies and just have the little pieces fall out. So my sandwich for this will be my, my base plate that comes with the machine. My Sizzix shim, my it's a solo shim, comes with the machine. The precision base plate does not come with the machine and it is an additional purchase. It takes the place of a bottom cut plate. With a die that is not very intricate, I would put down a, a cut plate. I would put down a cut plate. I would put down my paper. 
I would put down my die and a do not cut plate and I would send it on through. That's the sandwich. We always try to sandwich two things together. That's usually how things are done with the Big Shot machine. However, being that this is a slightly more intricate die, I'm going to sub out that bottom cut plate for my precision base plate. And the precision base plate just lets the die kind of bite into the paper a little bit better, giving yourself a really nice cut. Now, because this does not cut the entire piece out, I, I don't wanna do this, because I'm gonna have to try and trim this out. If I want it square, I wanna try and start with it kinda square, and, and then die cut this way, and you will see what I'm talking about as I send it through. I don't wanna put it on an angle because it's not gonna cut the entire piece out. If it did, then it wouldn't matter which direction I put my die. So I'm gonna send it on through. I'm not gonna rotate. I don't think I need to, but I am gonna bring it on back. And bam. Now a Sizzix Big Shot machine is a die cutting machine and it kind of is known as the workhorse of the industry. It, it just goes and goes and goes. So if you're looking for a die cut machine, there's lots of videos on recommendations. We use the Sizzix Big Shot machine. A Spellbinders machine is also a great machine, but for a workhorse, we tend to, we tend to go with the Sizzix and have forever. You can go back to videos five, six, seven years from you know, past and see that it's a Sizzix Big Shot machine. All right, so here, oh, I can, I might wanna save. Well, no, I'm not gonna save. So here's my die and you can see it didn't cut out at all. It cut into my paper. Let me grab a piece of, ooh, let's grab something pretty. So the image is cut into as opposed to cutting out. They do not provide a die a frame die to let you cut this piece out. If you wanted to cut this out, you would have to fussy cut it yourself. It does have several elements that then pop up. Look at how cute is that, right? All those little elements pop right up. And they call these the cut and lift collection they did one earlier in the year it wasn't it wasn't festive it wasn't Christmas but they did one earlier in the year and the way they had recommended that you then go and color these if you wanted to color these pop-ups was by taking let's grab my posty note was by taking a posty note and you would put this underneath or a piece of paper you would put this underneath each individual one and you would then color it with your blending brushes or your dauber, however you wanted to color it. And I said, no, 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 no. I love the idea of these, but I don't wanna sit there with a post note. What I want is a stencil. So that is what they did. They created a stencil. Now the secondary die that comes with this here has holly leaves and I've got the stencil that works with that, and then I have the stencil that works with the main piece. I couldn't sit there and put a piece of paper behind each one of these and then color it. it I just, I, I couldn't. <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> Let's just do a stencil, shall we? So that is what we have got, and that's how we are selling these. We're selling them as the die and the stencil together because there is no point of having the stencil without the die. Makes no point at all. And they have the most beautiful, beautiful sets. So the die, the stencil, the birds, the die, the stencil, the snowflakes, the die, the stencil, and then the Santa Claus. Saying hello, the die, 
and then the stencil. So those are the six sets, one, two, three, four, five, six, yes, yeah, six sets that they have come out with and they are super easy to use now that you have a coordinating stencil. So for me to stencil this, all I have to do is tape down my paper and then line up my stencil that's pretty good and tape down my stencil it is not a layering stencil it is a single stencil and I do have openness over here so if I want to make sure that I don't accidentally color that then you would want to take a little bit of a posty note to cover that up just to ensure that you don't get additional that additional stencil on your paper all right now I'm gonna leave that there and we're gonna talk a little bit about luster wax so we have three new colors of luster wax there are seven new colors in total and the other four colors will be launching just a few weeks from now I pulled the first three colors because they're Christmas colors and we were using Christmas dyes today so I thought this would be a good opportunity to use these three and then the next four round out the collection there's purple and magenta and blue and I mean there's just it's beautiful colors coming but this is a little different than what we're used to so I'm gonna get a piece of paper and I'm just gonna leave this right here. We'll come back to this. I'm gonna talk about Luster Wax for just a minute. Now, Luster Wax originally started with gold and silver and rose gold, which is a little more copper than anything else. Then they brought out a charcoal and an ivory. So there are five original colors of Luster Wax, but we wanted more. We wanted pretty colors, right? And Luster Wax is a true wax-based product. So when you open it, it definitely is a waxy feel. It almost is like a maybe a furniture polish it has an orange blossom scent to it. It doesn't dry out and a little goes a long way. It is meant to be able to use on paper, on wood, on glass, on metal, on plastic, you name it, luster wax is going to adhere. In fact, I took and put it on my little daubers. I, they, they're originally, see they come with the little brown I wanted to color them and because luster wax will go on on wood I just colored my little my little daubers right before we started so I could hopefully not mix them up Go, wish me luck so luster wax has always been known as a very opaque looking product and this is the gold this is an original original color and this is the gold and if I put some gold let's see maybe Maybe I go here. One, it will go a very long way. I mean, I could probably take what's on my, my dauber here and do almost the whole sheet of paper and change it to gold. And you can see, very opaque. If I want to make sure that all my lines are going in the right direction, all I have to do is come back and kind of hit it again and it's beautiful if I want it heavier if I want it more gold I go back in and I add more gold now because it is a wax based product I don't have to change my pads all the time this is the original pad that I've been working with probably for a year and a half now because it is a wax based it doesn't it doesn't get really hard on your pad. It stays supple and you can continue to use it. But look at that, isn't that beautiful? That is the original gold. 
let's look at the yellow in comparison. See, I almost grabbed my green. So I've got the yellow in comparison. And I thought the yellow might be too goldy. It might look too close to what the gold looks like. But when I put it down, it doesn't look anything like the gold. And I have an opportunity. So this is the bigger, this is a standard blending tool and or a dauber, and this is the mini. I want you to see the difference in size. This fits, this fits in here perfectly. It is like a perfect fit, but getting stuff out once it's gone down a little bit is a little bit of tricky. So we brought in from Crafter's Companion these little spatulas. You get four spatulas and this is the small size. There's longer, there's a little spoon, there's silicone so you can clean them up. And it was just really easy to go in there and you can even scrape the sides so you don't miss any. And then literally just butter up your, butter up your sponge. Well, now I have to use this. Well, I can put that back. So butter up my sponge. So with the smaller version, the smaller version does allow you to go in there and get it up off the sides. But if you want, you can do the same. Just go in there and grab it with the little silicone edge, the little spatula. Butter up my sponge. And then I can put it down. So the yellow the yellow doesn't look anything like the gold. They both have that beautiful metallic luster look to them, but they are distinctly two different colors without question. Now I have my, my red. So I can wipe that off. Get a baby wipe, clean off my silicone if I want, and grab my little red applicator. And I can either butter it up or I can dip in and pull out. I just, the applicator is really nice because you can then take from the sides and make sure that you don't waste any. At the same time, I can take from the sides, I can kind of push down and get it off the sides with my smaller, with my, my little mini, and it is mini, let me tell you. I have waited so long to get these back in stock. All right, let's see what red looks like. So now when you talk to people in the industry, especially chemists who deal in color, they say the hardest colors to do are red. They can be the absolute hardest colors to get done. It's just to make a true red, even, even Asherette, Jacquard, same thing. They can get kind of a rusty color, they can get kind of a pinky color, but a true red is a little more difficult. And Ellison has come as close to a red as they possibly can. So we've got gold, we've got yellow, we've got red. And I think when you see it with the rest of the colors and on the projects that it does look very, very festive and very happy. And it's got that, it's got that metallic sheen to it. And you can use it on wood and glass and metal and plastic. You've got all of those options. The last one is our green. So I can go in there and pick up some green or I clean off my brush my, or my little spatula and I just butter up my little mini pad. 
Now because this is silicone, the, the luster wax will not stick to it, so it will wipe off. And my green. And my little foam, I'm just gonna leave it right on this forever because it's never really gonna get hard. It's gonna stay supple. And I probably have enough here to do quite a bit of my, my sheet of paper. This will go a long way. You all know that luster wax will just keep going and going and going. So. Pretty colors, right? The original gold. But now you actually have some color to play with. And in the next few weeks, there'll be four more colors to round out this beautiful rainbow. I tried to pick like jewelry, jewel tones that would just look rich and luxurious. But like I said, to get something, sometimes you have to compromise and give something up. And you're like, wait, what? <laughs> what do we have to give up? Well, it's not so much giving up as it is looking at it in a different light. That's, I like that. That works for me. It's, it's seeing something in a different way. Not necessarily uh, giving anything up, but having another opportunity with a different color. You're like, I don't get it. Show me. Okay, I'm getting there. So I have black paper. And typically with the luster waxes that are, that have been out on the market, like the gold, I can go in there and on my black, it is very opaque. It will hide this black like you, you wouldn't even know that there was black underneath it. I got it on my... Oh, did I? No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> so now I've got my my gold luster wax on my black, and again, very opaque, covers up that black beautifully. Like you don't even know there's black underneath there. But to achieve color, to achieve color, the formula must have to change just a little bit because we're adding pigments into it as opposed to just pure metallic. So let's take our yellow and let's butter it up so you can see the difference on black. Ready? So not as opaque. Still shiny and lustery, but that black, a little bit of that black's gonna come through. But I've got that beautiful color. And I can add a little bit more if I want. You wanna kinda let it dry in between coats if you're gonna do multiple coats. So close, but you can still see a little bit of that black peeking through. Then let's do the red. No. See, I'm already putting the wrong lids on the wrong things. Let's do the red. And let's wipe this down. And let's just take some from the side because I can. And butter up. Oh, I've got way too much. I'm going to put a lot of this right back where it came from. Butter up my little sponge. And let's see what our red looks like. So 
So that pigment that is allowing us to have the color of red and yellow and green on the white is kind of being absorbed in by the black, which is typically what black does. It takes color and it absorbs it in, unless it's a pure metallic. So we don't quite have that same red. It's still pretty and you can still use it on lots of things to add a beautiful little hint of shimmer and shine, but it's not the same because the black paper is absorbing in the color. That's why you can't use dye-based inks on black paper because that dye-based ink is being absorbed into the black and that black is just taking all of that color and, and just it, it, you can't see it at all. So let's do the green. It's a way, it almost is like having two colors in one. So if you're using darker paper and you want a little bit of hint of shimmer and shine, but you don't want gold, well now you're going to have different options to add to your darker papers without it being overly bright. Let's do green. It's, it's a twofer. <laughs> but we wanted luster wax and colors. And I am so glad we have them because it just changes everything. Put that back and now let's put our green. See the difference? So now it's up to you when you use it on, I would definitely swatch these when you get them. Swatch them on a couple different colors of paper because the pigment and the color in these is going to absorb differently depending on the color of your paper. Black is going to take most of that absorption. It really is. White is going to take none of that absorption. The color's going to reflect right off that white as opposed to the black it's going to, it's going to seep in and absorb in. You may want to take a few different colors of papers and swatch them so you can see how this behaves on the different colors. But when you have, see with the gold, what you have is gold. Gold is going to be the same white or black. It's just gold. That's what you've got and we've loved it forever. But now you've got the opportunity to have one pot of luster wax that's going to have different hues and different saturations pending on the color paper that you use it with or the color of wood or the color of plastic or the color whatever it is you're working on and to me that is a compromise that I am happy with because it gives me more opportunity but I wanted you to know I needed to show you that while we're so used to it just being straight metallic and it just covers up absolutely everything, this is going to work a little bit differently. And it's all in how you see things. I see this as an opportunity. I see this as getting more colors out of one pot depending on what color paper I use. And to me, that equates to value because I don't have to have a light green, a dark green, a medium green. I just have to have a green. And depending on what color paper I use, that's the, that's the saturation and intensity that I get. Yay. Okay, so now we're going to go back. We're going to go back to what we were doing. <laughs> Do you remember what we were doing? <laughs> I was doing, I die cut out my cute little die, remember? And it did not make, it did not cut out the entire image. I don't wanna, it did not cut out the entire image. It left the image in. I did not want to take, 
I, I, you know, I just did not want to take a piece of paper and then color that one and then take a piece of paper and color that one. No. So I poke, poke, poked in the nicest way possible to create expressions. And I said, would you, could you? And they thought about it and they contacted me a few times and they sent me a few things to look at. And oh my gosh, perfection perfection so let me go ahead I've got this tape down I don't know that I need to tape I've covered over here because I've got the uh, the other die has a stencil element too and I don't want to get that on my paper so I've just covered that up with my post-it notes now that I don't mind covering up with my post-it notes I'm okay with that and then I'm going to take my green And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to stencil. See how much faster this is to add your color? <laughs> I'm not going to do one little holly leaf at a time. My videos are already three hours. <laughs> For those of you who are just joining us or are new to Scrapbooking Made Simple, yes, they really are anywhere from two and a half to three hours long as a typical video. But it is a technique-based class, not a demo. This is to teach you about the product in hopes that you look at it and say, hey, that is something I really would like to try. Or, hey, that is something I want nothing to do with. Pass. Uh, thanks for showing it to me, but I'm good. <laughs> That's better than you spending your hard-earned money only to find that you're like, nope, this was not for me. Okay, so I've added some luster wax. So I've got my green little hollies. Luster wax dries pretty darn quick. I can then pick it up. And look at how cute is that. My little holly leaves, they pop. Right? They just pop. And now I have to decide what to do with it. So I did not cut it at an angle <laughs> so that I can now trim it down. And yes, I have all the little fallouts. All the, like the little star. Let's see if I can get the star up. I've got the little star that I could color and I could paper piece all of this back in. I'm not going to. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kind of trim this down so it doesn't look quite as wonky. Would a trimmer be faster? Yes. Would it be a SMS YouTube if I used one? No. And I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm just trying to be close. Okay, so close. I'm good. And again, they do not provide a die that's going to let you cut all of that out. They just, they, the die cuts in, it doesn't cut out, but it's got these darling little lifty features that I love. Now I can take it and decide what more I want to do with it. Yeah, see I said close, but okay, I'm gonna stop. Um, what color do we want the little baubles to be? Hmm. <laughs> do I want them to be red? Oh, well, that looks super cute. Just back it with a piece of red. And this is red opulent from the festive collection. We'll put that on sale but I think most of you have red paper. This one just has a little bit of a shimmer and shine to it. I don't know that I necessarily want my, my pot and my star to be red, so I'm going to take and grab 
I'm going to grab some gold. Again, this is from the Gold Opulent Collection. And I'm just going to cut myself off a little bit of a piece. Hopefully that's big enough. And I'm going to back my... That works. Back my little stand for my Christmas tree in gold. And I'm just going to take a piece of Stacy tape and I am literally just going to go straight over the top of it. Because then when I go to expose my Stacy tape to tape it down to my next mat, it's holding my gold and I've got a piece of Stacy tape ready to go. So let's go ahead and let's go on top. Let's grab a little bit of a gold star, shall we? Now, I'm not going to do too much embellishing on these. I have got the most stunning samples for you to see, but I want you to, to see how I, I'm only going today. I'll, all I'm going to be doing, the only inks, the only coloring that I'm going to be doing is with these three colors. If I can't do it with these three colors, I'm not doing it. I want, I want newbie crafters to see that is it nice to have is it nice to have oodles and oodles and oodles of things to, to be able to just go grab and use and, and, and you know, is that, is that nice? Yes, I won't lie, it is, it's nice. I, I mean, I have a whole store. <laughs> Wait, this poor ring light's gonna be the, <laughs> I have a whole store. Sometimes having too much is not good because you, you sit there and you can't make a decision. So I want you to see that if you are new to crafting, you can start small and expand as you need to. I could go get all of my Hero Arts inks. I have 40 different colors of Hero Arts inks and I could be blending and mixing and you will see that on the samples. They're beautiful. But I wanna show you that that three colors can also make beautiful okay so i don't have a lot of things on my table to play with i really wanted to focus down and focus in and show you what can be done even when you've you, you've only got this much in front of you this much in front of you can make this much it really can so for those of us who have everything under the sun, it's nice, not gonna lie. It is to be able to just go grab those and say, yeah, not the right blue, let me go pick another blue. No, still not the right blue. And you may find that you get there, <laughs> but if you're just starting, please don't feel that you've got to go out and buy just a ton of stuff. Start small, learn what feels good to you, learn what you enjoy doing and buy more of that <laughs> find what what makes your heart happy and what sparks your creativity and that's where you that's where you focus in on it really isn't about you know the one that has the most toys wins that's not what this is about this is about the 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 one that creates with their heart they're the winner, winner chicken dinners. Trust me, just give a handmade card to somebody and watch their face light up. That is the reward to all of this. That and it distresses me, totally distresses me. Okay, back down we go. So let me zoom on in, zoom, zoom, zoom. So where was I? I was in the middle of taping down my star. <laughs> Okay, let's see, there we go. Yeah, see manufacturers, manufacturers love it when you love, oh, I should have gone all the way. Manufacturers love it when you love their products. That's important to them. What they don't love is when you 
you're, you're, you buy something and, and it wasn't as, you know, what you thought it was going to be, or you turned out it wasn't for you. It was too much work or it wasn't creative enough. You didn't get enough opportunity to put your own spin on it. And then it sits there in your crafty stash. They want you, manufacturers want you to get the most out of their products. That's what excites them is when you take something and you you use it again and again and again and it becomes one of your most favorite things. That's what a manufacturer hopes for. Because then every time you pull it, you're going, oh man, I just love my Sizzix Luster Wax. I just love my Sizzix Luster Wax. As opposed to maybe something sitting on your shelf going, gosh, why did I buy that? So I have got my gold stars, gold star tape down and my gold pot tape down. And now I think I am going to back it in my red. Of course, I got my fingerprints on it. What's new? Yeah, I think I'm gonna back it in my red. So I'm gonna expose all of that sticky. This is double-sided tape. I'm just gonna take the liners right off. Oh, come on. Let's try this side. There we go. Now this liner is a little bit longer than my paper. All I'm going to do is take that double stick tape and pull it right back in onto itself because it is double stick tape. I can just fold it right in. I don't have to tear it or cut it at all. And then my little piece up here that's holding my star in place. And now I can take and mount this on my red paper. And again, this is red opulent. So it's got a little bit of a shimmer. Do you have to use red opulent? Heavens no. What red paper do you have? Get it out. You got some scraps of it? Pull it out. Let's use it. Maybe you are new and you just have bought yourself your first pack of assorted cardstock. Yay! That'll give you lots of options. So there I am. Now all I have to do is trim out. You would use a trimmer, I fussy cut in freehand. Everybody holds their breath while I do this. Ta-da! And I think just because I can, <laughs> because I have opulent and we love Sizzix. See, that's one of the that's one of the things that that we love, love, love. I don't know anybody who doesn't love Sizzix Opulent Paper. It's beautiful. The packs are affordable. You get a ton. You get five different, five different sheets. I think on the festive though, it's six. Five different specialty sheets. There's 10 sheets each. It's affordable. And it's one of those things that, that people rave about. And that's what makes a manufacturer happy when you just are gushing over one of their products. So I'm gonna tape this down. And I made a very simple card. Very easy to do. You could mass produce this. You could sit there and get everything die cut. Then you could sit there and you could stencil the green on everything. Then you could sit there and do all your stars and your, your Christmas tree stand. You could mass produce this in no time at all. And I'm gonna put it on I'm gonna put it on my, you wanna keep your fingerprints off of it. I did not do that. And then I'm gonna trim this out.
and it's done. And I've got my little leaves that come up. So cute and easy, but effective. It looks really good. People will be highly impressed with this. Put a little sentiment somewhere and you're good to go. If you are new to crafting, you can do this. You'll have to have a die cutting machine and that's an investment, it is. But once you own the machine, well then it's up to you what dies you buy and you just go for it. So here's a simple one. Let's go a little bit, a little bit more into it. And again, I'm only going to play with the colors that I have. What if I took, let's grab that piece of white paper and let's cut it again. And what if I took and I didn't want it to have that white back. Let's say I didn't want it to be white. I wanted it to be something else, a different color. Well, I told you I'm only going to play with luster wax today in just these colors that I've got. So what if I took the green? And I color my paper. Now I'm going to have highs and I'm going to have lows and I'm going to have streaks and and I'm going to be a okay with that. I don't know why I go on the diagonal, but I do. Let's add a little bit more. And I'm just taking it right off the side. I'm going to use every last bit of luster wax in that jar before I get me a new one. And then I kind of daub it off on the side so that way I can go back in and grab. And I like the highs and I like the lows. I don't want it to be all one color. Okay, I think I'm good. So now I've got a background going and you can see it's not perfect. It's not supposed, you can see that it's got that luster to it. Hello, winking at you saying, Ooh, look at me. When you look at me straight, I'm one color, but then you turn me and I wink at you. <laughs> I've got streaks going. I've got heavy. I've got uh, places where there's more negative white space coming through and I am going to be fine with that. Now I'm going to die cut. So let's take my die and remember, my die is not going to cut out. It's going to cut in. So where do I want it to be? Okay, maybe there. Let's bring my machine back over. And with my base platform, my solo shim, my precision base plate, my luster waxed paper, my die that's going to cut in and not cut out, my do not cut plate over the top, which is just a plate that you try not to cut into too much. That way it doesn't warp. I'm going to roll it on through. And then I'm going to bring it on back. And let's see what we've got. 
So same thing, I got my star that I can keep for something else. I've got all the little baubles that are falling out. All my little bits and pieces come right out, which is very nice. And now I'm ready to stencil. So I'm gonna grab my green again. I'm gonna grab my stencil again. I'm going to tape down there we go I'm going to tape my cardstock down I'm going to bring over my stencil. I'm going to line it up. And then I'm going to come back with my green again. And I wasn't kidding. I'm not going to use anything but what I've got. Now, if you don't if you don't have the little the little spatula, you absolutely can just go in there and pick it up this way. And I'm going to come back in and I'm going to go over the tops. And I'm going to darken them up. It's still going to be the same hue green because I'm using the exact same luster wax, but I'm going to darken those up. And I'm just dabbing in there. How do you clean your stencil? Well, you'll need a little water and a little scrubby. Okay, I think that's good. So this is where I'm at. Kind of looks like a hot mess until you move. Oh, now I've got the darker green with the lighter green. And I think for, I think for apples to apples sake, I'm going to finish this one just like I did the other. So you can see the difference. See, I like it almost looks like I watercolored the background, but I didn't. I used luster wax, and every now and then when you turn it, you get that flash of metallic yumminess, but I haven't lost the green. I just went a little heavier, giving me a little bit darker green on those holly leaves. So let's, let's do apples to apples, and let me grab, because I think that's fair. I don't want to get any luster wax on it, so I'm going to put that there because I haven't cleaned up my... Okay, so I'm going to grab my gold and we're just going to wash, rinse, and repeat so you can see the difference between the two and see that you get the option to choose. Well, should I trim this down? How big do I want this to be? Let's trim it down here. See, I got a little red on it. I think I'm going to leave it kind of big because I like the background. 
So let's cover up my pot with my gold. And let's cut a little star backing. I think this little piece right there will probably do it. Put some Stacy tape. This time I'm going to take the Stacy tape all the way across. I didn't do that last time. piece down there and a little piece down here and then we backed it in the red the first time so I'm gonna do a wash rinse and repeat let's grab the red let's see if I've got enough on this one okay well I am I am so close that I think I'm just gonna trim this down a little bit because I can use that piece right there I am that close to it so if I trim this just a little bit more, maybe I can get away with using this piece right here. Ha ha ha. Close enough, right? Close is good. Okay, trim this down just a little bit more and then we'll mat it. I'm saying yes. <laughs> Imperfection is the new perfection. Trying to keep my fingers off of it. Stacy. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I'm saying yay. Got my cute little guys coming forward. And then let's finish it like we did the other one with the gold. Now I know I don't have enough of that piece there, but I can use this one here. And let's tape this one down. And while I'm here, because I'm getting green all over everything, take a little bit of, I take a Mr. Clean Eraser and just get it right up. Okay, so Stacy tape right here. here. It's a little bit long. I'm not going to worry about it. And here. And I'm pull off. Okay, so I've got it a little long here. I'm just gonna pull it right back into itself. It's double stick tape. And pull off. 
All right, so now let's line it up. I do anything to be able to stand up right now. But since I can't, we're going for it. All right. So now I've got the same card, only I've done the slightly green background versus an all white background. And look at the two different sizes that I was able to achieve. Same die. Now you could take little blings and put little red blings on here and a sentiment. Same die, same luster wax, same paper, two different looking cards, entirely different looking cards. Right? But what if I wanted to we want to switch up yet, or we want to do one more with this one? Well, maybe we'll do one more with this one, and then we'll switch up. So what if I took my last little piece of paper, and I grabbed the yellow? It's not gold. It's yellow. Remember, gold, yellow totally different color. So let's do that. Let me clean off my little spatula because I don't want to cross contaminate my colors. And I can either go in and kind of put my little, I love these. I love these. I love these. I wish I could get them all the time. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to kind of go in there. And add some yellow. It'll be heavier in spots, lighter in spots, and I am okay with that. In fact, I want that. If it was all the same color, your eye really has nothing to, to draw the attention in. It just looks flat. And I'm trying to avoid a flat looking card. I'm trying to add some, some dimension and some texture without actually adding texture. And by having highs and lows, I can achieve that. So I've got my base there. It's really white right there. I'll just there just a little bit just to add a little bit. And there's my card base. There's my my background. Now let's take my die and let's die cut. And I think I'll go, maybe I'll go up there. I really love this one right there. So <laughs> I'm going to move this on over and let's die cut. Now I can't put my die on the diagonal unless I want my card to have a Christmas tree on a diagonal because it doesn't cut out, it cuts in. I wanna keep it, you know, maybe I want it to the side here because I wanna add one of those borders, that's fine. But if I change it here, I'm either gonna to have to try and trim this out to square it up, you might as well just keep it square when you put it straight through. And Let's die cut it out. So with the gold and the silver and the rose gold, <laughs> copper, can you do the same type of a background? 
you can and it looks okay the silver looks better than the gold um but it it looks a little dark because it doesn't have that pigment in it that shine and that bright beautiful color coming through And you're gonna say, but now I have yellow leaves. Only for a moment, just for a moment, because we're going to take and we're gonna put that mask, that stencil right back on top of it. Let's tape this on down. And we're gonna go right back on top of it. It just lines up. Gosh, that was perfect. Hello, Stacy. <laughs> and let's grab our green. And I'm going to go over the yellow with the green. Now we'll just go in. And I'm just gonna go over that yellow luster wax with the green. Maybe you do wanna do some sort of a watercolor background. Maybe you do wanna do something with a blending brush on your background. Then you just come in with your luster wax right over the top of whatever you've laid down as your first color. Okay, I think, I think I'm good. What's making that noise? Give a good spounce. All right, let's see what we got. Right now it's only white paper. That's all we've used is some white paper and some luster wax. So, ooh, this is where we are. Hopefully I didn't just smear it. And this is where we are now. Ooh. Now I've got that, that yellow luster wax as my background. I've got my green going on there. Now I can do, should we just, should we just wash, rinse and repeat? That way you see all three different kinds and they have the same background, the same. It's getting there. I mean, that's pretty close. Let's go ahead and let's just do the backs in the same. Let's just do them all the same. So you see the difference. One, you three colors of luster wax, one dye, many options. Do my star, my Stacy tape. And then we'll move to another die. But we're taking the luster wax and we're no longer using it as just a way to add a, a, a we're not using it just as a way to add a shine or a metallic. We're literally using it as our as our paint as our ink that is how we're using luster wax i'm not sure that that was the intended use very well could be i'd have to ask <laughs> but that's what we're doing with it okay. 
Normally, uh, you'll see luster wax used on top of 3D embossing folders. It's normally used to accent something, not to actually add all of the color to it. But why not? It's beautiful. The new colors are gorgeous. And like I said, these are the first three. There's four more colors. And they're going to finish out that rainbow. So could you imagine having all the colors and doing this? You could make your own backgrounds out of luster wax so that your ornaments are a totally different color. You wouldn't have to use paper at all except for white. All right, close enough. And I just kept it big. That way if the girls decide to add a sentiment to it later. <laughs> and then here, let's do this one. Oh, should we do it with the gold or is that too much gold? I was going to do apples to apples to apples, but maybe not. I don't know. Meh. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe that black just anchors it. But I'm very, I, I just, I love this streak here. I didn't want to get rid of that. I just love it. <laughs> and I'll never be able to reproduce it. <laughs> so let's go here. Now you guys would do a better job of taping down than I am. I just want to get it down so we can show. can move on but we've done three totally different looking cards only using luster wax and paper thin black border to help kind of cement the card and weight it down. Kind of ground the card a little bit. There we go. Merry Christmas. White. Green on green. Green on top of the yellow. Did the whole backing in that yellow and then stenciled on top of it. And like I said, you could take bling and put little blings in there. But here I've got three different looks. And you could just mass produce these like crazy. And all I've used is three colors of luster wax. 
All right, let's pull another one and let's see what we've got. I'm going to use this one, I think. This one's big and it's a solid piece. And you've got the stencil. And you've got the die. So let's do it in white first so you can see it in white. And I'll need the stencil. You can see why these sold out in a hot, like a, a hot minute. And it wasn't that they sold out to, to consumers like you. The retailers went crazy for them. So much so that the Creative Expressions had to send me an email saying, you cannot sell any more than what you've got. You're done. <laughs> Be glad you got what you got is kind of how I read into that email. Oh, I was going to peel my nail polish up. Well, oh, it just did. I knew it. Tomorrow is or on Sunday. I'll redo my nail polish. Can I get this off this piece? No. All right. Well, it's going to be sticky. My little pieces are going to stick into it. Really, I can't get you off. Just a little piece of tape. Oh, I got it. Yay! Now my little pieces of paper won't stick to the tape. Okay, so pretty dye, beautiful dye. All of them are gorgeous. Let's cut this one out of white paper just so we can start at the very beginning. And again, same as the Christmas tree. This is not going to cut the shape out. I'm not going to run this through and get this entire piece out. It's going to cut in. So if I put it through my die cutting machine like this, because if this was going to cut all the way out, I could do that. I would do that because I wouldn't care and I wouldn't get a kathump during my die cutting. But if I do that, then I better be able to have enough room to cut whatever I need out of it, had to make a square or however I'm gonna do it. Otherwise, you wanna put it through that way first. So let's do that. And that, I've left myself a little bit of room around the outside to mat if I need to. Bring my machine on over. And I am going to put it at a little bit of an angle. My whole paper, I'm not going to put my die at an angle. I'm going to put my whole paper at a slight angle. This die has a straight edge right here. And the roller in my machine is right there. If this straight edge is parallel to the roller, when it feeds in, it has a little bit of a hard time getting this edge all the way in. And when you get to the end, you might hear a kathump. It sounds horrible. It doesn't hurt your machine. It doesn't hurt your die. It hurts your heart a little bit, but then you see that everything's okay. So let me see if I can get a kathump. Oh, no kathump there. That was good. Oh, no kathump. Well, that was a letdown, <laughs> but I should send it back just in case. No kathump. All right, all my cuts are there. And all my little fallouts, all my little pieces. Now, can you save some of these pieces? Sure you can. All of these cute little branches to decorate with if you want. If you want little branches for a shaker, up to you. Am I gonna save all these little pieces? Oh no. All the little swirlies. 
and this is the same type of die. See, look, it comes out clean, beautiful, beautiful die. Same type of die where you have areas that you're going to be able to lift up and, and curl and make beautiful. And you send it flat and then they can pop them themselves. Give, send a little note saying, hey, this is a lift up card, interactive, lift up all the little spaces. So this is where I start. Now I need to bring that stencil over and I'm gonna line it up and it's simple. You don't need anything that tells you up. It really just lines up very, very easy. There's only one way it's gonna fit and that's the only way it's gonna fit. There we have it. So I'm gonna tape this down Bring my stencil over. It kind of clicks into place when you get it to the right area. Let's tape that down. And then let's get out our green. Hello, green. Hello, green. And let's go in there. Ooh, am I off? I think I'm okay. Let's go in there and let's stencil some green. Anywhere I see white paper, I know I need to color it. I'm just going to pull up all that green. Pull it all up. I've got it on my I've got it on my craft mat. And I'm just going to pull it all up and I still have oodles and oodles. Luster wax goes a long way. Boy, the green and the yellow would certainly be good for Halloween colors. <laughs> and I'll be launching the other four colors around the same time that we'll be doing the Tim Holtz Halloween. <laughs> I don't know when everybody else is going to do it, but I know that I am, I am allowed as a retailer to start selling it the morning of the 18th at 9 a.m., I believe sunny California time. If it's 9 a.m. Eastern, it'll be 6 a.m. sunny California time. It could be. You know, I'm gonna have to ask about that. <laughs> I don't wanna be three hours late to the party. Fashionably late's okay. Three hours late is not so much. Okay. So I've stenciled, that's where I am, pull it off, and that's what I've got. Is that not just gorgeous? And these lift, isn't that beautiful? Now for me, the easiest way to back this is for me because I still have some that are kind of holly is I'm going to do it in the gold. I'm just going to grab a gold and, oh, Stacy, I just got luster wax all over my gold. Okay, better. How about I get it off my fingers? <laughs> I do not know what possessed me to wear a white shirt today. I do not know. If I put it on my gold. Do 
we like it on the matte gold? Do we like it on the on the glitter? No, I don't like it on the glitter gold. That's not working for me. Do we like it on the mirror? The mirror is certainly pretty. Or the matte. Nope, I'm going with the mirror. The mirror is just so pretty. It looks so good. Am I okay with my cuts? I'm going to say yes. So let's put some Stacy tape on the back. So all I've used is the green. Maybe ta-da is on. Ta-da! <laughs> She's... <laughs> You're like, ta-da, <laughs> ta-da, it's Taylor. <laughs> she and Oh So Clever Karina are my girls at Ellison, along with Jen Long. <laughs> Maybe ta-da is on the live chat right now, and she can tell me. <laughs> well, this is one way to get an answer, right? <laughs> maybe, or maybe Karina is on and can text Taylor. Okay, so can I, when I release the Tim Holtz on the 18th, is it like, is it 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time? Or, because it's 9 a.m. somewhere in the world, right? So which time zone do I have to kind of sort of a little bit adhere to? I mean, I'll come close to adhering. But could you tell me, maybe it's Eastern Standard Time, maybe, because headquarters of Ellison is in the UK, it's 9 a.m. UK time. You tell me when I'm allowed to launch this because I am going to be on YouTube. I am gonna be on Facebook. I'm gonna be on everywhere showing everything and those samples the girls have made are stunning. So, <laughs> so if somebody would be so kind to tell me who, <laughs> when I'm allowed to, uh, when I'm allowed to go for it, now back to our regularly scheduled program. Okay, so uh, I got some, I'm just gonna live with it. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. Now you don't have to have the gold as your mat too. I just happen to like it that way. It's just an easy way for me to do a quick double mat. Gosh, that's pretty. It looks great with the gold, it really does. And then let's just add a pop of color. I'm gonna run out of this red. <laughs> like this red <gasps> look at that pop of color oh this is so pretty <gasps> you know a little bit of design envy creative expressions love these job well done Now I could use foam tape and I could pop it if I wanted to add some dimension. Pop up my panel here and add some dimension.
away we go. I wonder if she's answered me yet. She might not be on the live chat. <laughs> she may be texting somebody in the UK right now. <laughs> Anybody up? <laughs> Look at how beautiful is this. And see how easy it was. And all I have to do is go in and I can pop up those little guys and bend them and tweak them. All of these little dudes pop up. Did I glue you down by, oh no, there you go. They just pop up and give that dimension and that detail. Pretty, right? But what if we colored the front? And this time, what if we color it in red? So let's grab that red. And I make my background, my matting in red. Mr. Clean, just a Mr. Clean eraser, a baby wipe. And bam, done. Okay, so I'm gonna use some red. Well, I'm just gonna do it. See, I love the streaks. I think they're beautiful. You may decide to do the whole thing a solid color. You may decide to go side by side, up and down. And I'm just pulling a little bit up off of the side. And I'm going a little heavier than I did on than with the yellow. And I'm just pulling it all up. I don't know that I need this much. I made a really big background, but all that does is give me options of where to place what I want. And I wanna go a little bit heavier in my red and not have quite as much white as I did with my yellow. A little bit heavier. So is it a true red? No. Will they ever be able to achieve a true red? Probably not. It looks beautiful. It is so pretty. Maybe more of a vintage red, I suppose, would be maybe a fair way to describe it. I don't think it's rust. And I don't think it's burnt so maybe a maybe a vintage red gosh and Tim Holtz does lots of vintagey things pretty and look at that shimmer and shine all right 
So now let's die cut. I almost don't want to die cut. <laughs> From where? I could make a card big enough for um, for the UK. <laughs> that would about do it. <laughs> so let's not. And let's take and cut the bottom off here that I'll use for something else somewhere. take some of my side it'll still leave me room to trim down and mat but I could cut die you know die cut letters out of these words out of these whatever I'm not gonna throw them away they're done they're perfect bring my die cutting machine on over Just straighten it up and center it out and then send it on through not sure if I'll get a thump on this one but we'll try man not even a little creak and crack I shouldn't be so disappointed right <laughs> There's my die, all one piece. Remember the elements don't, the whole piece doesn't cut out. The little elements fall out. You're cutting into your piece of paper. I almost think I should have gone a little darker red. I almost think I should have gone a little darker red. I don't think I can, I don't know if I can do it now. No, I'm going to leave it. Think long, think wrong. I'm just going to go with it. So my luster wax is all there. I'm going to take my stencil, bring it back over the top, and you're like, ah, but you've got red. I know. We're going to take that green right over the red. Take that green right over the red. And I want it to be this way. Am I too close? Take my green and just line this right on up. It just fits perfect. There's no questioning, are you lined? It just fits. Bring my green. And I'm gonna go right over that red. And I'm gonna bounce it on. I could do a little bit of a if I wanted to start a base coat, get kind of a little bit of a green base coat going, and then come back and really spounce it on, because I want to cover that red. And just spounce it on, and I'm taking from the side. Bouncing it on. And 
just 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 a light tap and then if you've got too much you just take it right off the side and you can go in and pick that right up so I've got to do these these are still a little too red I'm going to pull some of this stuff from all around and put that in there. Pick up every last bit I've got off my craft mat. Okay, so I've got my green done. Put it right there. And I love how easy it is to put these in there and grab from the side. It just makes things so simple. And if you're not comfortable doing that, get yourself a little spatula. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow and I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow to my green. I'm gonna blend a little bit of that yellow in. A little bit of that yellow not gold this is definitely not gold but it blends so beautifully luster wax absolutely can blend its colors just add a little bit of yellow and if I got too much Go back and add a little bit of green. And make it so festive. So let's see if I can lift both pieces up without them moving. No, that wasn't exactly. So here's where we're at. Can you see how I've blended the yellow into the green? just to give it a little more vibrance, a little more depth. And then we take it off. And now we have it against the red, which looks okay until you back it. on the gold and then it starts to look amazing so I've got the red going I've got the green I've got the yellow on the leaves I'm gonna back it in the gold I don't think I'd want to back it in the white right No, I don't think so. And I don't think I'm gonna, well, I might wanna, you know? Maybe. Maybe I back it in. No, totally different greens. Yeah, no, not crazy about that either. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna stick with the gold because the gold looks really good. Okay, let's tape it on down. And then we'll finish it off with a red mat. And I haven't used anything but three colors. Three colors of luster wax that most people will use as an accent color not as the focal point, not as the ink, not as the paint. They'll put it over the top of their 3D embossing folders. They'll maybe add a little bit of it 
to some pretty leaves or some pretty flowers that they've already colored with something else. I wanted them in colors because I wanted it to be the focal point. I wanted you to have beautiful, lustery color. Is lustery a word? I don't know if it is. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Man, these fit perfect. I have no idea why, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna knock <laughs> an easy mat. <laughs> Come on. I'm getting, I have to get used to having my nails done again. Now, mind you, I'm doing them. So, <laughs> with my dollar nail polish that I bought, well, I bought 24 colors, actually. I went back and I found a few more colors I didn't own. And Mr. SMS is like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I'm like, no, now I could do my nails in uh, I could have a different combination every week for the next two years without ever doubling. That wasn't the best mat job ever. No. Eeks. Okay, let's try again. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Maybe that's a little better. Okay, getting there. Oh my gosh, is that beautiful. I don't know if the camera picks it up or not, but you guys will come into the store and you'll say, man, that looks so much better in person than it did on camera. And I say, I know, I say that every time. And I love how the leaves just pop. And I can bend them and just beautiful. They're so pretty. You're like how much more red see you do get you get a lot of red you get a lot of paper in those opulent packs it's a good thing otherwise <laughs> i'd be out of red paper by now You're like wait what happened to the red i'll be back I'm a girl who loves to mat. I think the more mats, the better. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm a girl who loves to add mats to everything. If I could quadruple mat everything, I would. So how do we feel? about the dyes from creative expressions the paper cuts what are they calling these uh cut and lifts this is the second collection that they've done with this this is the first collection where they have done coordinating stencils and and i appreciate the fact that they let me poke 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 and say we really need the stencil it just makes everybody's life so much easier. So I'm gonna do a super thin mat in black. I mean like hardly anything at all in black. Like a whisper of black. First color Mr. SMSA and I ever painted the interior of our house was not black. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> You're like, oh no. But it was called Whisper Gray. <laughs> and it was a whisper because, boy, you really had to look for that gray. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see if I could mat and mat and mat. Oh, see. Then I'm going to do a slightly. Oh, yeah. Then I'm going to do a slightly bigger red mat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes my heart happy. You're like, well, it's not all about you, Stacy. <laughs> Mr. SMS tells me that all the time. We were talking today and we and and he asked me a question and I said, "Well, there's a lot." And he said, he said, "Well, how much is a lot?" And I said, "Well, I guess the I guess a lot can be very subjective." He was asking about a quantity of something. I said, "Because you know, I could say that I don't have a lot of shoes and you would be in complete disagreement with that. And we had customers in the store and they were just chuckling as Mr. SMS and I are having this conversation about the, the, the meaning of the, 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 the words a lot. What does a lot mean? Well, it depends upon who you're asking. <laughs> So I think you get a lot of the opulent paper. And I think the festive that I've been using, so the red, the reds come out of the festive pack. Boy, have I made a mess. Holy smokes, artichokes. So the festive, you actually get 10 sheets of six specialty papers. That's the red I've been using. I, I've, been, I've been hoarding this red for this YouTube. <laughs> Look at all the other colors. Oh, I could have put the, nope, stop. You're done, move on, mat it out, call it good. Could have put the, the pretty white shimmery behind it. That would have looked really good too. So on the festive, I believe you get 60 sheets, 10 of each sheet. And on the regular colors, it's 10 of each sheet in five different specialty papers. Well, I think I'm going to send this to the UK because that's about their size. I want to say this is a five by seven or bigger, <laughs> but I had fun making it. I could have made it smaller. I could have trimmed it way down. I didn't have to triple mat, but I did. I enjoyed it. I liked doing it. And now you can see the difference. Same card done two different ways. You decide how you like it best. There is no right, there is no wrong. It is just create. Start simple. Start with the white. Just do the white and try it and see what you think. And then, and then remember, then I went to green on green and had that red backing. And then I said, no, let's add the yellow and the red and we had it all going on. The luster waxes are beautiful. The dyes are easy to use. They are very easy, very forgiving. And make simple, this was a simple card. A dye, a stencil over the top, colored with luster wax, and then matte till your heart's content. Do you wanna be this simple? Maybe this is where you are at right now. And maybe after you've made 10, then you might try that one and do the background. And then maybe after 10 of those, you might try blending some of the color. So you've got that green and that gold going on. Just remember that with the luster wax in these new colors, to get the pigments in there. It's not as opaque as just the straight metallics, which means that if I did these all on black, I, well, no, I'm not gonna do a black one. <laughs> I, should, I could, no, I won't. But if I, that gives me, that gives me two distinct different colors 
for each color of my luster wax. And if you were to pull out blue paper and put these on blue paper, you might have another distinct color. And if you were to pull out purple paper and put these on purple paper, who knows what you'll end up with. With the gold, the silver, the rose gold, it is what it is. What you see is what you get. But in these new colors, well, hmm, you get a little more than what you see is what you get. It's all up to you on how you want to use them. So the, the, the dies from Creative Expressions, their paper cuts lines, we're only doing it with the stencil. Can't get the die by itself. I know there will be other stores that will have it by itself. And if that's what you're looking for, then we recommend that you, you wait and get it from them because we're only doing it with the stencil because I think the stencil is that important to the process. It makes life easier for you. And who doesn't want a little help when you can get it? So there are six different sets. Yes, we have an I want it all. Absolutely. Yes, we have. You can just get the Santa in the stencil if that's what makes your heart happy. Hmm. Let's see, which are the ones I use? Here's the one I use today. And this is the one I use today. So six distinctive Christmas stencils. I, again, I don't know if Creative Expressions will have time to get them back and bring them back this year or if these are considered a one and done. I know they sold out super fast to other retailers, which is wonderful for Creative Expressions. It just means that the demand is going to be high on them. I had my order in before anybody else. Why? Because I helped with the stencils. <laughs> so they are on sale. There is an I Want It All bundle. I leave it up to you what works best for you. Then we have the Luster Wax. Yes, you can buy just the green or just the red or just the yellow. It is not gold. That is gold. This is yellow and I love the color and I love the swoosh right there. I wish I could get that swoosh on everything. And I just backed it in the red to give my dot, my, my ornaments a little bit of color. And I could have put bling in there. There's so much I could have done to take these to the next level. And you will see that with the samples. But yes, we have the luster wax. You can buy one color. You can buy three colors. We have the I want it all. I think it's probably a little better price for the I want it all. You decide, but if you are a luster wax fan, we have all been yearning, poking, saying, when, when can we have more colors? And here we go. And as I said, there's four additional colors coming your way to round out my rainbow. So there is a purple, there is a blue, there is a magenta. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep, got to have them all, right? Because they're just beautiful. So for this week, I've done the three. And this will be an ongoing item, I think think. I know that I know what they have available. I know that these are exclusive to Scrapbooking Made Simple. We may be the only store to ever have them. I have locked up all the inventory. So if they don't bring them back in, well, then you're will be the only place that you can get these. I don't know yet. I'm not sure what the plan is about that, but I have a feeling that it will be some time before these are made available anywhere else because we've got a few more. I, I want to use them in another YouTube. Okay, so that we've got the three. If you like the spatulas, let me show you. So we did the spatulas before and I have just a few left. This is how they come. You get two small and two large. They're from 
Crafter's Companion, they're silicone. That means they can take the heat, they can take water, they can anything. They're silicone. You can't go wrong with them and they will clean up. Look, you see how I've got gold all over this one? Look at that, bam, because it's silicone. Easy peasy. So we have just a few of these left. We did them a while ago and I really, really love them. And then here, so we are selling this as a bundle. So you're gonna get one and one as a bundle. And then I have a few remaining open stock for additional replacement pads. Again, I bought every last one of them at th by 3.10 in the morning, they were gone. I had confirmation of my order. I got an email back from the manufacturer saying, really? And I said, yes, really, hi. <laughs> really, the email I got, it was like two, two words, it was three words, hi, Stacy really question mark question mark yep <laughs> i love the size here is a standard here is the mini look at the difference oh my gosh so good so good and the last time we had these they sold out in like five minutes i only had maybe 50 of them I bought as many as I could. And then once they're gone, I don't know how long it will take me to get them back. So we've got that. Um, what else? Oh, and I think I'll do, so I think I will do the festive for you. I'll put the festive on sale. I don't know that, that we need to do the gold or the silver. I think you guys probably have it, maybe. No, I'll do the gold too, because I used a lot of the gold today. So the festive and the gold I'll put on sale too, just in case you're new and you've never seen opulent. It's beautiful. The gold has, let's see, the gold has five different finishes and opulent comes in a whole bunch of different packs. There's gold, there's silver, there's rose gold, there's charcoal. Let's see, you get five different types of specialty papers and you get five of or 10 of each sheet. So we'll put that on, on a, on a YouTube yummy as well. But I think most of you have something like this in your crafty stash already. Okay, so sample time. You're like, wait, what samples already? Yeah, um, let's start here. And let's not lose this one because I'm going to have Michael take some pictures of these and add them. So I think I showed this one in the beginning. And this piece comes with that die. And these little, these little guys pop up. and they have a stencil to go with it. Really so pretty. I figure where I'm gonna put these. And then here, I showed this one in the beginning. This is all done with luster wax. That's done with luster wax, the new colors. And that's done with the gold opulent glitter paper right a little bit of dreamy i'm telling you and then here this one's different this is similar to one i did today simple easy add a sentiment here are the snowflakes and all your little bits and pieces pop so that you get that dimension all of these little guys pop up. Just beautiful. And here are the birdies done with luster wax. So you've got the birdies done with the gold, or no, not the yellow and the red luster wax. You've got the green going on there. Right? Yay. There's one with the birds that's gonna knock your socks off. This one is so pretty, look at that. They backed it with the charcoal opulent. Isn't that so creative? This was, I either, this might have been Yvette or, or Mary, honorary SMS girls Yvette or Mary, not sure. Nobody signed it, so I'm not positive. But isn't that beautiful? Instead of the gold, look at that. Really pretty. 
Oh. Okay, look at this. That is with the Christmas ornament. Wow. They fussy cut those out. Oh, they sure did. Let's find that die. Oh, you bet they did. They cut the die and then they fussy cut out each one of the ornaments and popped them. Wow, that is magic. Joe, I can't pronounce, I can't, I can't, Joe, Joe, it's one of the Creative Expressions design team members. Joe, I don't know, I can't read your last name. Daver? Da Dave? Daver? Oh, Joe, well done, you. Holy smokes, artichokes, that is beautiful. Here, look at this one. Right? Beautiful. That's like with a, the mystical opulent behind it is what it looks like. How pretty is this with the snowflakes? And all the snowflakes pop up. And remember, gee, we have a blue and a purple luster wax coming your way very soon. And then look at this sweet guy. Look at how sweet is he. Talk about a difference in size. You can go from small to really big. I love just how easy breezy this card is. Clean and, and elegant and the colors pop. Love that. And then, hello, Santa. Isn't he so cute? Hello, Santa. And he pops too. His little hands pop, his little hat pops, his little, the little um, pom-pom at the end of his hat pops. He pops too. I don't know how you decide. No, I'm not done yet. Look at this one. Is that stunning? Just beautiful. You need the stencil to get all that detail. And then she went back in and she, so she backed it in black. And then every now and then she paper pieced back in. Really beautiful. And here. See, I love this. I love the, oh, I want it to go. The, no, they don't want it to go. Yeah, that way. I want it to go this way. I love all the swirls. I love everything about it. And then look at this Santa. Isn't he so cute? <laughs> I like him. Oh, and then this one has a really red luster wax background. Really, really red luster wax background. Put that on heavy, heavy. And then here's this one. Wow. Dreamy. Who wouldn't love to get this for Christmas? Okay, so now I need you to hold on to your hats for just a minute. So this is a watercolor look, and I just need you to know it is beyond. There are the birds. This is just, so she took it. I think she cut it out of white, and then she starts to watercolor. It doesn't even look real. It's so beautiful. Talk about, I mean, so everything from where's that fun little, where was that fun little easy breezy card? Okay. So maybe, maybe this is you and maybe this is you. And maybe this is where you are today and maybe next year this is where you are. Isn't it nice to know 
that you can you have the options of what to do to keep them simple and clean and fresh or to take them to a whole nother level where you want to frame this <laughs> oh my gosh it's all there for you you just start that creative journey and let it progress oh my oh see in this one so beautiful wow and they did we did they did it as a as a landscape and then here we have santa and i love this one all right you guys it's hard to decide what we, what I love. I, I think they're all so unique and so different and so elegant. And then the stencil that goes with the, with the snowflakes. Here it is just as the stencil. You could just use the stencil for the snowflakes and just stencil this one over and over again, or those two over and over again, or those two. So the stencil for the snowflakes, you really can use for, for multiple things. All right, you guys, I hope you had a good time today. I hope that I was able to show you how only having, and it really shouldn't be only having, starting with, starting with just a few elements that make your heart happy and using them for everything you can get out of them. Who would have ever thought I'd literally be using luster wax as my ink, as the only color that I do on all the things that I made today. It just, it just wasn't in the, I know that, I know that Sizzix was not expecting that. They're expecting it to be used as an accent, as a little bit of zhuzh, as some, you know, some sparkle, some metallic -y, you know, lustery shine to it. But why can't we use it for more? And because of that pigment that's in there, the colors show up beautifully on the white and then if you're doing something in dark color and you don't want a gold or a silver or a, a rose gold you take these new colors and put them over the darker colors to get a, a, a hint of color you still get all of that luster but you get kind of that hint of color that little wink of color that says I'm here but not really <laughs> That's what these new colors are going to do for you. So a big thank you to Creative Expressions for doing the stencils to go with these dyes. I needed them. And and I I know I pushed. I do. I know I can be a little bit Stacy. <laughs> I know that. I hear you. But thank you for doing them. And to everybody at Ellison Thank you for letting us have new colors of luster wax. Thank you for, for letting us expand what we already love so much. And I knew it, I, I, I knew it was gonna take time and I knew you were working on it. And I tried not to, I tried not to say, where's, it was, I'm like the kid in the car. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? That's what, <laughs> think of me I'm like the kid in the back seat and dad just wants to say stop we're there when we're there but I get so excited because I know that they're gonna be fabulous things to show you and to teach you so if you enjoyed this class I hope you subscribe to our channel I do this every Saturday morning 8 a.m. Sunday California time 10 a.m. Central 11 a.m. Eastern 4 p.m. in the United Kingdom, but then I also live chat with you every Monday for our Make It Monday events and every Thursday when I bring you the latest and greatest from your most favorite manufacturers. And both of those events are value priced product. And we live chat for those at 5 p.m. Sunday California time, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern, and you are asleep in the United Kingdom. So.
<laughs> all right you guys it's me stacy scrapbooking made simple find all of these products at scrapbookingmadesimple.com the luster wax will be exclusive to us for a while i have a feeling the creative expressions you may be able to find at your local independent retailer very very soon and as for the little minis the little mini blending brushes the applicators see i see in the luster wax went right on that it went right on the the metal so i could color that way i don't lose track of them <laughs> if you can find them locally please do and if not then come online and shop with a small independent retailer like us all right you guys i had a great time today i will see you monday make it monday for the next part of the warehouse sale. I think we, we release another seven or 800 more items by I think another 10 or 12 manufacturers and whatever hasn't sold out from week one will carry forward and then we start week two and then we move to week three and then Tuesday, Tuesday morning on the 18th, I will have Tim Holtz Halloween for you. Keep, keep a watch on our Facebook, Instagram, threads, and YouTube for sneak peeks all next week. I can't show you exactly what he's doing, but boy, I can give you a pretty good hint. Shh, don't tell Sizzix. <laughs> all right, you guys, I'll see you later. It's Stacy Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Bye, everybody. <laughs>